I've been working on that bit of the fitch, this bit of the nose, and this bit here of the nose. So in this episode we're going to look at that. Um, it's quite quite a lot of material. I've already started working on this bit of the nose in here, but um, that's going to be in the next episode. I'm just moving from one thing to another today, making a mess of everything. Um, so I can't concentrate for some reason. I've been looking at making engine stands, rotisseries, and really not doing anything. Anyway, so in order to try to get myself to do something, I thought I'd t tackle this. Um, I started by attempting to unbolt the two bolts that were in there. The first one immediately snapped, this one. So um, I need to sort that. The other one came out, showed just how bad it is in here. Um, and then um, I put a bit of weight on this and it popped off. So that's a bit worrying. I had a look on the other side and um, I realised that this is at a poor angle as well on the other side. So, um, and that's because this is all broken. So I'm going to have to take that side off as well. It's just as well I haven't welded this panel back in yet because that's going to give me a lot more access. So I'm trying to decide if I can afford to cut all of this out because the car sat on, it sat on it at the moment and so its springs are under pressure um, and am I going to weaken it too much or bend it or whatever by cutting that out so maybe I should get a jack stand under that wheel just to take some pressure off I think that's probably sensible oh. I don't know I just can't get myself going today can I so I've cleaned this off a bit now Looks to me like I need a piece that comes up here, from about here, covering that area, and then a second one to go in along this side. So, um, yeah, that's mostly underneath. What is that? That's just, it's not rusted. I mean, that's, yeah, that's just the, um, so the bits coming off underneath are in fact just the, um, undercoating or you know weatherproofing that was put on under there so we're gonna do this bit first and um, so we'll fold this bit out first and then we'll come back okay so I fill this piece here which I think will fit in quite nicely to be honest um, and so how do I do it? I cut out a straight piece. Um, I then used a um, anvil lintel to bend it over one way and bend it back the other. And in fact, what I did is I I fixed this onto the lintel and this onto the lintel and then bent this bit here over here. So. That's how I got that bend, or that, that ledge in there. Um, and then I've used, um, I, I then bent it a bit. Well, I clamped it on here actually, and I pushed it in is what I did in the end. I tried cut bend in a couple of other ways, but this seems to have more or less got it. And I've used a bit of adhesion in order to get it in the rest of the way. It's not far off. Um, so I'm going to have to take the wheel off in order to weld this because otherwise you know, I'm definitely going to destroy it and the tyres might need changing but um, there's no point in wrecking them just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop for today so I don't do anything stupid 
Um, tomorrow I shall come and grind this flat to make sure this fits in nicely here and get it all fitted in and um, then we'll take off the wheel we'll weld this piece in um, and probably stop there tomorrow we'll see how we get on but that's the plan is to just put this piece in tomorrow um, and go from there right so we've got that bit tacked into place and that actually doesn't look too bad I'm going to leave it tacked in for now and I'm going to um, do the bit that's on the Fitch I think it's called the Fitch so we're going to build a patch for that next well that's taken me a little bit of time but I've now got that tacked in the whole way round um, so I think I'm not sure if we want to finish that now or you can see it's dark outside um, if we'll do it tomorrow now but um, and then I'll fit or, or even if I'll wait until I've got the suspension out so that I can sort it out from the inside really which would be better um, no I think I'll I'll go around and do it and then I'll do it again from the inside when I've got the suspension out so um, yeah, so that's almost there. Uh, the hardest bit was actually trying to cut out some of the corners because I didn't have a small enough um, cutting bit to get it out. But um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do that tomorrow, and then we'll see where we go to next. Okay, so I've got that in place, um, and I've ground it down mostly as much as I'm going to do. I've got a lot of pinholes in here still but I'd rather get that from the underside so that will I'll look to do when I've got the suspension out um, and worry about it then. Um, I need to clean this up and get this um, bolt out, this nut, um, well the thread out, um, which um, I'll think about but in the meantime I want to just look at the other side. Sorry about that. So just looking at this side here. Um, so this comes all the way in. We've got a gap hole all the way to the, um, the inner wing. But it's also very tight in here. And I've been looking at whether or not I can get a welder in but I think I've got to give it a go so I'm gonna start by giving this a clean seeing just how bad it is around here and then we'll come back and have another look at it but we're definitely gonna to have to get in and clean some of this off as well. well I've cleaned this off a bit and um, I can't get in here to to do it with the I'm gonna to have to come from the other side which means I need the suspension out so I'm going to put this to the side for now. So in, in this episode I want to start looking at this nose section. Um, I don't particularly want to take it off the car if I don't have to. I haven't actually looked at how to take it off. There's quite a few bits in here. So there's this bit here which connects onto the wing. This bit here connects this bit connects onto the wing. I've got that bolt on both sides. Both of those are pretty rotten. I've just been cleaning here and this folds down and is spot welded onto here. And I've just cleaned up and the metal underneath looks good. It's just this top bit that's rusted. So and you can see it's pretty much the same by the look of it. Maybe slightly better on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix this little bit with a patch. We're going to try to grind this extra metal out um, from where the spot welds were and we're going to try fixing a piece across here um, which will then weld into place. What we might actually do given these holes actually is we might try to fix a piece 
with a fold. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll come out here somewhere. Like that. And we'll fix a piece with a fold. And that will enable us to um, get this bend right because I don't really like the idea of having to weld in here. So we'll start with this. We have here my piece which I'm going to weld in here. It wasn't too hard to make but it wasn't too easy um, just to get the kind of shape and the curves a little bit but that's going to go in there um, what I hadn't realized is it was spot welded to this and um, so I've cleaned this off um, and I have put a hole in the other one and we will um, spot weld this in um, just on the edge there, just about fit, which is where it was before to be honest, so so that's okay. Um, but I just need to, I've cut through this um, support here, so I just need to stick a bit of weld in there um, to, so, to strengthen that up again. Um, so I'll do that first. Uh, put some weld in, grind it down, and then tack weld this in place. There you go, now I'm pleased enough with that piece in. Um, you know, it's all fairly well hidden, so the fact that it's not perfect is neither here nor there, but then what is on this car? So we're going to stop now because it's getting a bit late, or a bit dark anyway. It's not really late, but um, tomorrow I'm going to look to cut out a section here. Okay, we'll fold it over, fit it in, that's the plan, clean this all down first, get it, oh, get it nice and flat, um, and then fit this section in, so that's, that's the aim for tomorrow. If everything has seemed a bit disjointed so far in this episode, it's because, or well, more so than normal, it's because everything so far I actually did prior to smashing the windscreen in the previous episode. Okay, so hopefully now we're, we're moving forward um, together. Uh, and so I don't quite remember where I'd finished off when I was, I was doing this bit of work. But the next bit I'm going to work on is here. And I'm going to... Um, cut out a piece to go in here. I think I'm going to try it with a lap weld um, or you know an overlap um, so I've got metal on both sides because I just seem to I, my, my butt welding just doesn't seem to be up to it to me and um, or maybe I'll just do a butt weld I don't know. Anyway we're gonna we're gonna cut this we're gonna make a template for this we're going to use Clicos to fit it against here to make sure I've got it in place so that I can um, do spot welds here or plug welds along on this bit and then we're either going to do butt welding around here or we're going to do um, a lap weld. Okay, so, so this is my patch. Um, I'm doing butt weld because I decided I couldn't get underneath here properly to do it. Not really. So we'll butt weld across here. Spot weld in these. Take these out and spot weld in there. Um, just going to give this a bit of a hammer because it's a bit, a bit off. But other than that, we're about ready to go for it. I was last out on Monday. Today's Friday. I had my booster shot Monday afternoon, evening. Just really knocked me out, so that's why I haven't been out. Um, but we've now ground this bit down. It's not too bad. 
Um, I just did a butt weld in the end. I decided it was the right way to go. And along here, obviously, spot welded or plug welded. Just need to fill in a couple of these a bit better. But um, that's okay, so we'll get some paint on there, I think, um, to protect it, and we'll move down the line. This is the next bit I'm planning to do, so just to give you a perspective where it is. Um, it's very hard to get in here and clean, because uh, my grinding wheels don't reach down far enough any of them, so I can't get in here with the grinding wheel to clean up all the paint and stuff. Um, what I've done is I've done this bit so far with a um, uh, the needle, needle scaler, so that's got it as clear as this. Um, I've got holes as far as out here, I've got tiny pinholes back here. Um, the, it's this bit in here, the core bit, which is really rusted. Okay. Um, when I look underneath, there's a bar. I'm not sure if I'd call it a bar, but there's a piece of metal that runs all the way along um, and connects the two um, pillars here. So, um, so I don't want to cut through that. Um, and then there were three holes in here and those holes are in the the um, strip of metal underneath as well. So I think my approach is going to be the pinholes I've got here, I think I'll just put some brass behind and um, weld in those holes and try to clean it off a bit. I don't know how I'll do this one because um, there's another piece of metal in between so I can't get brass behind that so I think I might just try to do a, you know, a couple of dabs on that to, to sort that out. And then this one over here is slightly bigger, um, so I'm not sure again, I'll come back to that. With this, what I think I'm going to do, it, it's a complicated piece again, so we've got this, this is um, curved like this, and it's going to be need to be curved um, this way in some way as well, so I think we're going to, but I think we're going to do a piece for here, okay, and weld onto it a piece for in here. Um, yeah, I think that's how we'll do it. Um, I don't know how I'm going to cut out the piece at this stage, because as I said, I haven't got any grinding wheels and I don't have any cutting discs or anything that is going to allow me to get in there, so that's going to be um, interesting. But um, I think I could certainly come from underneath and cut out a bit of it uh, for the bottom bit, and that might give me some room or something to do it. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, so what I might do is I might think about this a bit and come back to it, and I might tackle this bit over here first, which should be fairly similar to that corner there. Um, yeah, not sure which. I've decided to move over to the other side and deal with this first. I've ordered a um, little rotary tool so that I can work in the middle. That should arrive today. So here, I've only got a tiny bit on the actual, you know, surface that is bad, but I've got quite a long strip all the way along here that needs fixing. A little tiny bit in the corner here. I'll just clean this out a bit more, make sure it doesn't go any further. And then I've got this bit here. So this bit is a separate patch, like I did on the other side um, at some point. I can't remember if that's filmed. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do a long strip along here first, fix that in place and then come up and do a little patch in there. So I'm going to do it as two separate patches um, rather than cutting everything out. 
and I'll do that after I've cleaned this bit up. So I've cut out this piece. I've ground it down to metal. Um, I had a pinhole in there so I filled that in with weld. I've painted it. Over there I've got the pit that's going to go in along here so that's that's in primer as well. Okay so that's going to go in here. So I'll grind the paint off here to, to be welding clean metal. Um, and I'm just trying to think about if I'm going to Clico it in and then weld or just hold it in place, weld it and then Clico it once I've got this weld along here. Either way I'll need to put some um, holes in first. Um, but that's coming so I'm just letting the paint dry for now. And here we are with it. Uh, what I did in the end is I tack welded it in place along the top um, with the spot weld holes already drilled. Um, then I put the clecos in along the bottom to pull it flush. So when I spot weld here I'll take a bit of a chisel to it and bang them in to make sure they're flush and spot weld them in. I'm just now trying to decide if I want to do this before I cut this out, if I want to cut this out first. And um, I guess I'm thinking might as well get it done now. So just having a little think about that um, before I progress on. Well there we have it done. I tack welded this in place. I then came along the edge and did this and then the spot welds. had a couple of pinholes here which I just welded. Um, so I think I need to tidy this up a bit still along here, it's a bit rough. Um, but the rest of it's coming out quite well so I'm going to take a bit of a break now. Uh, I think that's a good morning's work for me, I'm quite pleased with that. And um, We'll come back out in the afternoon and I think start tackling um, this bit that we've discussed in the middle or I might tackle um, this bit here but I suspect once I start cleaning this front off there'll be lots there that needs doing so I think I'm probably better off trying to deal with this bit first um, I can certainly fabricate the pieces I want to go in there um, even if I can't cut out what is in there until I've got other tools but if I can fabricate the pieces and get it all ready and set up to go in then that'll be good.